Okay, hello guys. So welcome you all to the new video. So this video is specifically for the MCA people who have been asking regarding the colleges which you can choose in Karnataka PVCT MCA. Okay. So today's content is going to be very crisp, and I'm also just going to give you a hands out like how to choose the right MBA colleges or the MCA colleges for you people. Now. Firstly, for the MCA colleges, I have just provided the link of the list of MCA colleges, which we have curated based on the 2021 and 2022 results. Now, all these are approximates. Now, the results in 2023 may vary slightly here and there. So, be prepared for that. So, do not take this as a final one. So, sir said, and I am going to get a seat over here. It's not the final, but this is just an approximation thing. Now coming to this, how do I choose the right college? Let it be for MBA or MCA. Now there are certain factors which you need to keep in mind. The first one, what is the specialization that you are looking for? Okay, if it is available in a particular college, see the fact or the background check of that. How the college has performed in that particular specialization? How is the placement for that? Particular specialization in that college. Now there are numerous amount of colleges in Karnataka. I cannot do the research for each and every college and give you the entire list of it. If you list a certain colleges, yes, it is possible for us to do the research and let you know how is the branch in that particular college. That can be done. But for all the colleges curatorly, it is not possible to give a list of like which is the best options among it. Now coming to the next aspect. Apart from the specialization, what you choose, you also need to check how is the community over there. When I term the word community, it's the group of people whom you are going to mingle with, or the kind of speakers who come over there and address the crowd. This kind of community is very necessary whenever you go into MBA and MCA colleges because these are not the PG programs for your degree purpose or for your job purpose. Okay, many of you people are going for job purpose. I understand, but it is more than that. Where the companies are looking literally for people who can entirely manage the team, right? So if that's the case, you have to be in that kind of a caliber, right? So for that, only a degree is not sufficient. Along with it, you need to have certain skills. If you still are not aware of what skills that you need to learn, you can go back and check the previous video which we had uploaded regarding the skills that you need to learn as an MBA and MCA graduate. Fine. I'll also pin the link of that video in the description or in the video. You can just watch it over. Fine. And yes, let it be MBA and MCA. Don't worry a lot. There are been a lot of queries coming up. Regarding, sir, will I get a good college? And uh, should I be doing that? Should I be doing this? So one advice which I would give is, stay calm. You have given the exam anyways, so we have to wait for the results. Whatever happens, we have to take it forward. In case if your score is very too less, then obviously you can approach for the management seats now itself and finalize it and keep it as a backup. In case if nothing clicks, you can at least join over there. Fine. So these are certain things which I not need to uh, address. Apart from this, in the last video we had certain queries regarding the documentation process, and one of the major query which I had was, uh, sir, uh, should I be taking the attestation or uh, the study certificate for seven years, ten years? What is it? Yes, for minimum seven years, if you should have studied in Karnataka. That study certificate is required. Let it be from single school or from a multiple schools. You need to have it. And attestation or the attestation needs to be done by a gazetted officer. If you go to any government office, the green signature person, you can just contact them and you can get it attested. Fine. So these are certain things which you need to keep in mind. So this is what we wanted to cover today. And again, the MCA colleges we have just curated and given it in the description. Check it out. Whatever is your options. Based on that, start taking wise decisions. Okay, don't worry. Stay calm, and we'll meet you in the next video. Take care. Bye. See you.